Hey guys, it's Ty here, and I'm back with another video. So, this morning I am going to the super dentist. So, but I, you know what? I'm happy because um, today was supposed to be the first day back to school in person, but um, well, unfortunately, the hurricane that um, ripped through New Orleans a few days ago has found its way um, through uh, has found its way to New Jersey. Um, it's, it's not as bad, of course. It happened and um, so they canceled in-person learning today which all of my classes was supposed to be in person so now um, I'm actually really glad about that I'm so sorry if you guys can't see me well but I'm driving of course and there's nothing I can do about the natural lighting but yes, anyways, um, I'm really glad about the cancellations um, because I was so, like, I'm not going to say depressed, but I was so miserable yesterday because I, like, being um, online, you know, for the past, what, three semesters or whatever it was, you know, you get um, sort of content, like at least I was content because I'm an introvert. So like I was content with everything being online. And so now going back, you know, into the swing of things and into being in person is just kind of like, oh God, I don't want to do this. I just am so excited to finally almost be done with school so I can start my life and my career you know I'm, I'm over school I'm tired of going to school I've been to school my whole life <laughs> I'm over this Ooh, oh I'm like what is this but I guess that was some of the impacts of the Cane, like it was like rocks and dirt in the road. It's scary, but I thank God that you know, here in New Jersey, it's not bad like other states. It's really scary to know what other states go through, you know, the natural disasters and whatnot. It's really, really scary. disasters like I said we don't get them like crazy you know down there but later after I come from the dentist I am going to show you guys what I keep in my school bag this oh no I hope where I gotta go is not blocked off because I think it's interesting right like to know Show you guys. <laughs> 
guys I'm back home and as I said I am going to show you guys what I keep in my school bag so here is my bag I know it's like humongous but honestly I'm not sure how people have small bags because it's like okay I don't have much in my bag but I need to carry my laptop so it's like how do you guys go around all day with like a small bag and my laptop is like you know kind of sizable and then you need like a binder and it's just like so I don't I don't understand but yes um I need me a big enough bag for it to be spacious enough and so yeah this is my little my cute little hand sanitizer I have like a better one don't worry um, that's not protecting me against COVID <laughs> One eternity later. Um, so let's get in it. So, this is it. Okay. So, of course, we have our binder. Kind of worn down and a little bit old. But it's my last semester. I'm, I wasn't buying anything new. Everything I have, I've had... Um, pretty much for the past couple of years so it is what it is so of course I have my little dividers now I I have not separated my class yet because certain classes like you don't even end up taking notes and stuff so I'm gonna wait it out and see you know how the professor is and then that's when I will decide whether or not you know I need to separate by each class but I'm taking seven classes this semester, um, two of which I'm almost positive that I'm not even going to take notes in, so five for now, but of course, you know, I have my paper and I will add it um, as I go. So, of course, I got my MacBook. This is the case. It's crazy because I don't even like use my laptop um, outside of school like I literally well now I'm doing YouTube so I be using it for YouTube but like so I guess for business and like you know stuff like that for leisure I don't use it which is ridiculous because um, you spend so much money on a laptop and it's like ridiculous so I have this here I just so I just transferred the stuff that was in here to this because it matches my case um, more so um, I was I used to at least be the kind of person that liked to match like everything in my bag and I'm like everything's like 50,000 different colors let me at least put this my best friend got this for me for Christmas um, a few years back so I'm like, let me use this. Um, so in here is just like my school supplies. I have a stapler that I have yet to open. I have my whiteouts. I have my real, my good hand sanitizer. Okay. Can't have too many of those. And then I just have my pens and my pencils, my highlighters and whatnot, everything that I need. And I also have my school ID. Okay, look at me, looking all cute. Hmm. Freaking focus, the lighting. There we go. Oh, I look so adorable. <laughs> Four years ago, man. I, do I look the same? I feel like I look the same. Okay. So, that's like all my school supplies. Like, it's nothing special. But, I'm a commuter. If you guys don't know, I'm a commuter. So, 
you know, your time on campus, you know, obviously varies on how long you have to be there, um, how your classes are or your schedule is set up. If you have like a really, really huge gap between your classes, it would make sense to go home. But if you don't um, have a huge gap, maybe it's like an hour or two between your classes, you might as well stay on campus, right? But it's like, okay, I'm on campus for a little bit of time, right? And you're walking around. And at least for my school, sometimes I have to park so far from like where my classes actually are. And with it being like hot still right now, um, by the time I get to campus, like from walking from so far away, I'm like already sweating, I'm icky, like I'm just feeling like, oh my goodness, I just took a shower for what? Because I'm already sweating. So I do carry my Honest Water Wipes, okay, I do carry these, I used to use baby wipes, but now I use water wipes, okay, and I use this, you know, if I need to freshen up under my armpits or, you know, anywhere that I'm just feeling like, ugh, like I feel sticky, if you feel like the urgency to freshen up while you're in class I would recommend putting it in one of these little pouches you know so nobody knows what you're doing nobody knows your business and things like that and so that brings me to the compartment now right now I have my my feminine products my pads my liners things like that and I have it in a Ziploc bag Okay, now when it's actually my time of the month, I do put it in here. So when I feel like I need to go to the bathroom and do my business, I um, don't have to like show people what I have. But um, as to not take up space, I put it in that compartment when um, it's not my time of the month. Okay, and I also have um, spray. Now, I actually have long used the actual um, Dulce Berry um, spray. Now, what I do is I, you know, unscrew the top and I take one of my actual full-size um, um, little perfumes or mists. Um, and I just spray it in here again if I just want to like freshen up and smell and just smell nice um, maybe I feel like you know my perfume will wear off throughout the day I'll just you know spray and I also have my Puro hand wipes I'm telling y'all I am not playing about this COVID mess period um you know what I'm thinking? I need to put um, my Clorox wipes in here too, or my Lysol wipes, because when it's time to go eat, yes, I'm definitely bringing that. Because when it's when it's time to eat and I go to the cat, I'm wiping that table down. So yes, I'm actually going to add my Lysol wipes um, once I finish this video. And in the front here easily accessible my mask um my my chapstick and my little mints or candies and yes so this is what i keep in my my school bag um so yes period <laughs> you guys I really hope you guys enjoyed this video I actually have another video pending for you guys um, I'm going to be showing you guys the black owned businesses that I shopped at recently I have to get that edited and ready to go but for now thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you guys in the next one.